shows the rigid bronchoscope entering the mouth. Just pushing the tongue up there as the scope advances along. Just trying to find the epiglottis. You can see the epiglottis just in the left hand side. We lift that up with the edge of the rigid bronchoscope to expose the vocal cords. The scope is then turned 90 degrees to the right so the bevel can be introduced through the cords. Then we go through the cords. Once we're through the cords, we rotate another 90 degrees so that the bevel of the scope is lined along the posterior wall of the trachea. You can see we're in the trachea there, advancing down to the carina and the right main bronchus. And there you can see in the right main bronchus there's some blood and an abnormality there with the external compression on the distal trachea and proximal right main bronchus from the tumour. So once the rigid bronchoscope is in place, you can safely ventilate the patient through there. This is now the flexible bronchoscope going through the rigid scope so we have good access to the airway to allow us to, to biopsy that lesion quite safely. Now we can see with the flexible scope we get more detail right around to the right upper lobe. See some blood there from a previous biopsy.